Hey, what's going on YouTube? A little windy out today. I'm going to answer a question uh, that we got on one of the videos. And the person asked, uh, do we move our sheep and our goat to shelter at night? And the answer to that question is no, we do not right now. Uh, we did that in the past where there was a night pen. Uh, they were established paddocks. They were brought back up every night. Um, that can work. You know, it can. You end up with a lot of concentrated feces, so you get a lot of concentrated disease that way. So I prefer not to do it. Um, it works in some systems. What we do is we just keep rotating them. Now, I will tell you that after last year's experience, we are going to build them a shelter over here in these trees. And it's basically going to be a little bit of a dry lot. Uh, probably get some pigs in there, root around and clean it up. And, uh, you know, get that taken care of first and then put the fence up, some timeless uh, T-post and uh, high tensile electric wire around a permanent pen in there. Maybe, I don't know, a half acre, three quarters of an acre. Uh, have hay available in there so that when the three, four days of freezing rain come along, you know, that we've got a place, you know, for them to go. So the answer to the question is no. We don't take them to a pen every night. Um, you could. I've got, where you at, Zoe? Zoe's right back there that would be her job you know if we wanted to move them every night like that so it's completely possible but it's just not what we do uh, it's labor intensive and like I said I think you're you're uh, really creating a vector for disease but you get into your colder temperatures having a dry lot situation in a lot for a lot of people you know might make sense uh, you just got to you know, maybe look into layering the bedding and, and everything else and making sure that you keep it clean enough for them. But our intention is to keep them grazing all year. And like I said, you know, we get that horrible weather like we did last year with blizzards hitting out of the blue and then day after day of rain, you know, in the 33 to 42 degree temperature range. It's nice to have a place to put them. So probably just build a little simple lean-to, nothing fancy. And uh, those trees right over here, that's actually facing east right now is where you're looking. So most of our wind comes from the north back here and then the south over here, out here in Kansas. It's just, uh, we're kind of in a little vortex of weather, but that's usually what happens. If we build them a little shelter over there in those trees, they'll never even feel the wind. I have a feeling though, the hair sheep could care less. Uh, last year, freezing rain, saw them out there way doing their thing uh, the boar goats not a fan anymore kind of went through that um, that's another video I need to shoot real soon you know what's the best type of meat goat but uh, we'll be getting into that soon um, they didn't handle the freezing rain quite as well or well at all I mean you know a friend of mine said yeah they bruised their foot and they fall over dead the next day unless you got a bucket of grain around their neck so you know it depends on what animals you're working with but these hair sheep are really hardy they're katahdins I think we've got some dorpers on the way as well. They do real well. So you're going to have to make it a situation, a way, you know, depend on your situation and what you've got to work with. But hope that answers your question. God bless you all.